This is Cougar football. Hey, Joe, it's, it's been a week, but can you just talk about what you saw to Luke in the, uh, the Oregon State game? Um, I, I think the main thing is he had great composure. Uh, he, he was level-headed the entire time. I mean, even when we were down, uh, he was confident like he always is. But, I mean, I, I think the main thing is he just translated what he does in practice over to the game field. I mean, we all had confidence in him, and we know what he can do on a daily basis. You guys talked before the game a little bit about, you know, despite the situation with the bowl game, the, this final three-game stretch kind of being its own season. Now that you've, you know, got a win in the first game, how, how does, does that kind of re-energize the team a little bit? Uh, it's, it's definitely better than the other result. I mean, we, we want to win every game, so, I mean, it, it leaves us with a much better feeling. And now the goal is to just win this game and then hopefully the next one. Did, did you kind of sense in these bi-week practices that it was uh, – a little more fun for players being on a, on a winning streak now? Yeah, definitely. I, we, we all have better attitudes coming off a win, but uh, we, we try to let go of that as soon as possible and you know regain focus for the next opponent. But it, it was definitely better than losing the game. What, what have you uh, seen out of Arizona State's D? Uh, a, lot, a lot of movement, a lot of blitzes. Uh, we haven't gotten into it fully, but I, I just know that they, they bring an exotic pack, your package of blitzes. They, they try to throw everything at you. and. Uh, uh, that's that's the main thing. It's just they they do a lot more blisses of movement than everyone else. Do you, do you get a chance to watch that Oregon State game against yeah. State? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, that, that that was a heck of a game. Do you uh, notice anything the Beavers were able to do that kind of slowed down that pass rush? Uh, I I haven't looked into it fully on, in that aspect. I was kind of just looking at it more as a fan at, at the at the time, but. Uh, they, I saw that they, they were able to hit them on some blitzes and get some big plays from time to time, and hopefully we can do the same. The, the Sun Devils have such different personnel than they did last season. Uh, does that kind of change the way you prepare at all, not having a, a Will Sutton or those guys up front? We try to not let personnel affect us. I mean, our, our focus is always to be on ourselves. Uh, we, we feel that if we play the game that we're supposed to, then, then we'll have the result that we want to, it, regardless of what the personnel on the other type of, or other, other team is. Uh, the, the main focus is just kind of on the, the scheme and strategy that they try to use. So you haven't noticed them do anything different schematically with different personnel? Uh, it, it's, it's a little more blitz-oriented this year, that, for sure. Like, uh, they, they focus a little more on... on uh, throwing a bunch of different uh, packages of blitzes at you. Instead of last year, they kind of played base a little more. Okay. Thanks. You mentioned all the movement and uh, the blitzes they throw at you. Do you recall any defenses that you've played this year that are similar to Arizona State? Uh, every defense kind of has aspects of what they do. They they kind of choose or pick and choose blitzes from each and every team. So you, you can relate blitzes that other teams use to anyone that they use. They, they just kind of throw them all together into one package. and fully utilize the whole thing. And then uh, Coach McGuire's talked about how good this uh, young offensive line is, and uh, heading into next year, he said that most of them you know, have, have potential to, sh uh, to start. So how good is this, is this young offensive line? Uh, I, I think we're getting better each and every week, that's for sure. Um, we, we're gaining confidence as the season goes on, as we get more reps together. That, I mean, that's a big thing as an O-line. You want to get reps together and get familiar with each other, each other but I mean, we, we have good, good young talent, and I think that just uh, as we get more reps and more experience, we'll just keep getting better. How's Jacob doing on the right side? He's been doing good. Uh, that was just kind of a rough deal, just having to step in uh, out of nowhere, but he, uh, he's done good. He's, he's taken advantage of his reps, and he's gotten, gotten better the last two weeks, and that, that's the main thing for him. Joe, what was that like watching that game as a fan? Um, especially since it was last week's opponent against next week's opponent? Uh, it, it was exciting. I mean, that was, a, that was an incredible game. But uh, the, the main thing was to just see, see kind of how they could exploit them. And uh, they, they took advantage of, of some, some good blitzes, and uh, they, they broke out some big plays. But it was just an exciting game to watch. Did you uh, find yourself rooting for one or the other? Uh, not really. I'm, I'm kind of unbiased normally when it comes to anybody else's games, but uh, really just trying to focus on, you know, how, how we can kind of get the same result and get a win. So you're, you're watching the old lineman? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of ruined uh, watching football or football for me now is uh, all, I, all I seem to focus on is watching the old lineman. So I don't, I don't really see the ball too much, actually.
With the 10 a.m. start, do you do anything differently at all in terms of preparation? Um, not not really. We we we'll just kind of move up the schedule a little bit, and you know, wake up a little bit earlier. Everything else will be the same. We try to keep it as as a uh, routine as possible, and and make sure that we're just doing the same thing each week, so nothing's different. How early do you have to get up? Like six? Uh, I'm not really sure yet. We haven't we haven't come up with the schedule, but I'm sure I'm sure it'll be six or six or six thirty seven. Yeah. Pretty early. <laughs> Joe, did it feel like this bye week was needed for you guys, kind of later in the season, but uh, what were some of the benefits of it this week? Uh, I think just getting back to, you know, competing and things. We, we really focused on, you know, just just doing events to where we can compete and get back to the basics of things and just wanting to win. And uh, obviously, bye weeks are great for getting your legs back and your bodies back healthy, but I think the main thing was just getting to the point where we uh, remember how to compete on a daily basis. Was uh, there any sort of, Jake kind of brought this up, but any sort of renewal of confidence coming off a win, or was there just maybe a little more spring to the step that you noticed? Or? Yeah, de it definitely affects attitudes, that's for sure. I mean, we, we, try, to, we try, to not let, or try to not let it, but uh, you got to bounce back from a loss and you got to stay level-headed when you win, but it's definitely a, a much better feeling when you get a win going into a bye week because you got two weeks to think about it. Any questions on the line for Joe Dahl? Uh, definitely. I mean, I, I wasn't. I wasn't happy there, and I, I wanted to be here. I just saw myself, you know, helping, helping to contribute here, and I, I've just been happy to come here and have the success that I have been able to have. I mean, I, I really just wanted to play for this program, and I, that's what I've been able to do. So, uh, definitely, it was a success in my eyes. I don't think so. I think our, our backs do a great job of helping us in, in pass pro and our, uh, our our pass pro scheme in general just does a good job and we, we have great receivers that know how to use their hot routes and I, I think we'll be able to take advantage of, of their blitzes. Uh, it's just a matter of, of holding up just long enough to get the ball out. Thank you. Any other questions for Joe? Hey Joe, um, it, it did seem like in the game on Saturday that the, the tempo was faster by about three or four seconds per play. Was that designed? Is that something Luke's doing? Did you notice it? Um, we've we've really been. It, it really relates back to the O line. I, I think. I mean, we're we're kind of the last people getting set up, making calls about the front and all that. But uh, it's been a focus of us all season. I think it's just kind of the time where it started to come together. Uh, we, we've been trying to do it all season. It just kind of finally got to show at that point.